So today I wanted to focus on electronegativity. It is actually not a very hard word. It just means I wanted to take in electron in order to become negative. We know that atom has proton and neutron, right? Proton is positively charged and electron is negatively charged. For this particular atom, we know that atoms neutrals it always has to have an equal number of proton and electron. So if you have more electron than your proton, right, you have too many electron to cancel the charge. So you have a leftover of negative charge. Now you are an ion. So the idea of electronegativity is about how much you want to fill out the valence shell by taking in electron in order to become negative, not giving electron away. Because if you give electron away, you will not become negative. So electronegativity means how much do I want to take electron to become negative. So it is a scale. We know that an atom always wants to take in electron or giving electron away in order to achieve stable octet rule. So let's focus on this particular atom. It has six valence electron. And we know that in order to study electronegativity, you have to focus on valence electron, not the total electron, because it is about the valence shell. So for this particular atom, it has six valence electron. This example would be the second level shell. So you actually have an inner shell that I did not draw it out yet. So let's focus on this atom. It has six valence electrons. So it wants to complete the valence shell. What can he do? He has two options actually. Either you give electron away. So if I look at this, right? Or you can take electron in. So if I look at this, is that I can move the electron away. If I wanted to move electron away, I would have to give away six electrons. So if I give the six electron away, the outermost shell would no longer exist because there's no electron in that particular level. So now the inner shell will become the valence shell, which has two electrons. So it's filled, so it's happy. So let me put back the electron. And for the second level shell, it has a maximum capacity of eight. So this atom can take in two more electrons. So let's say that this atom takes in two more electrons into the valence shell. So now that this valence electron will have eight, so this atom can take in two electrons to complete the valence shell. You have two options, give six away or take two in. So how do I know which way would this atom choose to complete the valence shell? Well, one way is to compare the number of giving and taking in electron. The more electrons you involve in, the more energy you need to use. So in this scenario, giving away six electron would be very energy demanding. Taking in electron will be more energy efficient because it involves less electron, so you use less energy as compared to giving six electron away. One golden rule is that the more energy you use, the harder it is. The harder it is, the less reluctant you want to do. Think about this. If you really, really don't want to do it, it becomes very difficult because you need a lot of energy. So for this atom, it will want to take in electron in order to become negative because it just uses less energy. So the easier you take in electron to become negative, right? If I take in electron, I will become negative. The easier it is, the less energy that you use, the more you want to do it because it is just easy. So less electron, less energy, it's easy, you want to do it. So if you really, really want to take in the electron to become negative at that particular moment, we say that this particular element is very, very electronegative because it's easy to take in electron, you are very electronegative.